This is the back cave. Well, it's not the back cave, it's the Drake cave. This is where I make everything. Um, there's a live stream setup right there. Uh, every week, come down, turn on everything. There's a lot to turn on. So I just, just follow, I guess just follow me as I go through how, how to set up the live stream. These are my two main lights. These are uh, fluorescent soft boxes. They're not fluorescent soft boxes. They're fluorescent lights in soft boxes. Those are my main lights. No, you don't see any of this on the video, obviously. But lots to plug in. Lights, key light, backlight. Woo! All right. So what I just turned on there was all my decorated decoration lights, like the tree and stuff. Uh, that up there is my hair light. I can't look at all these. That's my hair light. Um, it's not. It's not vain. It's just. It separates you from the background. Is what that's for. And then down here uh, is another LED panel, and that is just shining up on the back wall here. And again, that's just for separation, so that you can tell me from the wall, and so that you can tell there's some depth in there to add some interest. And then up there is another little fill light. Same LED panel that's on the ground back here, shining on the wall, but that one's just filling in. Uh, the side of my face so I'm not completely in shadows over here so yeah a lot of lights to turn on you don't have to have this many lights if you're doing a live stream but um, I don't know I just wanted to play with the lights and it's fun because you got some here and some here and so it's like painting it's really fun now you can see everything I have while I'm live streaming this is where I sit so I have my computer that's got all the live chats on it so I can see what people are saying Otherwise, what's the point of a live stream if I can't see what people are saying? So here we have all my documents. All my documents. <laughs> it's just the order of things so I don't get lost, which will happen anyway. And the chord sheet so I don't get lost in the song, which will also happen anyway. And then up there, of course, the camera. Very important. I'll talk a little bit more about that specifically. And then this is the microphone. Uh, it's just a condenser microphone that I'm using, like a shotgun microphone. And down here, we have um, this is a reverb pedal because the basement is really dead and if I don't have a reverb pedal it sounds terrible so I got a reverb pedal and it sounds pretty good I'm pretty impressed with it all right that's what my station looks like that's how I do oh and of course the table is where I set my eggnog because you need eggnog to live stream if you didn't know if you take one thing away from this video it's that you need eggnog to do Christmas live streams this is the camera I use to make all my live streams now uh, the Canon SL2 pretty budget uh, DSLR and then here this is my new lens which is really good it's a Sigma 18 to 35 1.8 and if you don't know what that means it just means it's a wide-angle lens it's really fast and that 1.8 is the aperture and that means the background can be blurry also it's crazy sharp which I love so that's my that's my camera setup and then that is running via HDMI cable which isn't plugged in right now just the HDMI cable plugs into the side of the camera, and that goes over to the computer, which is probably not even plugged in right now. I'm not supposed to be setting up for the live stream. I'm just talking to you guys. You all are so distracting. So this is what I used to get the DSLR to the computer. It's a cam link. It's basically just a hardware encoder. HDMI to USB. All right, so I need to actually plug in the camera because, again, you guys are distracting me. Okay, that's plugged in. So everything goes to here. This is, <laughs> that's my brother who gave me a gift, a joke calendar, and that is the penguin of great sorrow. So if anything goes terribly wrong during live stream, Laura, my wife slash producer, throws the penguin at me. And then I know something's going wrong. Don't look at my password, guys. This is my iMac. Oh, I'm ordering stuff on Amazon. Whoops. As you can see, it got dual screens because that's really important when you're doing live streams because there's so many windows open. I am streaming to YouTube and Facebook at the same time, which means I have to have a YouTube window open, a Facebook window open, an encoder open, and a restream uh, router, basically, which sends it to both places. So that's why I have two monitors. Also, I have the big iMac because I was doing it on that laptop you saw over there which I now use just for chat. Um, but it wasn't powerful enough because live streaming takes a lot of processing power. 
So I do it on this iMac here. And then the microphone is going into this, which is just the Behringer uh, UMC something something. I don't remember the exact details of the model number, but it's Behringer's four channel audio interface. It's really good. So you can see it's quite quite a lot. Um, dual monitors are definitely helping. Restream, OBS, Facebook, or sorry, YouTube, Facebook, lots of stuff. All right, that's the nerve center. We're good to go. Uh, I have to enter channels. You can see here on Restream, if you ever want to stream to two places and you have OBS, uh, you basically add channels. So this is YouTube and this is Facebook. And you can add different channels um, where you want to stream to. So Restream will take that stream from OBS and put it to YouTube and Facebook. Okay, we got the stuff on the computer. What did we miss, guys? Got the lights turned on, got the camera plugged in, got the mic turned on, got the chat going. Got a close-up of Ronald's. Was that what that was? <laughs> All right. We did it. We got ready for the live stream. Now I have to actually get ready for the live stream and get all the nitty gritty and test it in our time so we can make sure nothing goes wrong. But yeah, that's my live stream setup for Reawaken M's Christmas live streams. Hope this was helpful. If you're setting up live streams for your church, maybe you can use some of this stuff. Uh, get an idea of what you need to live stream. This is a little overkill probably for simple live streams, but I want it to, to look good. So if you have any questions about any of this live streaming stuff, leave me questions in the comments below and I will answer you. And then I will see you back here next week for another video.